What is up guys and welcome to the South Coast. I was about to take the bad boy Maverick out, do a little bit of grass cutting, but I found a leak in one of my tires. So, I'm gonna show you all how I fix leaks and lawnmower tires. Let's do it. All right guys, so I found this little piece of wire sticking in my tire. Looks like a piece of fence wire or rebar tie wire or something. So, obviously that was my leak. This is the same tire plug kit that I use for my truck. I have to use the old hammer to get this to go in there. Ream it out a bit, leave that tool in there, take the plugging tool with a plug, sort of flatten that out, flatten it out, pull it through, fold it over. Since this is a small hole, we're going to Use a little bit of this lube that came with this kit. Put it right there on the right there on the front end. Just so where that first part will slide in there a little better. Alright, whenever you're ready, pull that out. Push this guy in. So this one has this little standoff here, so you push it in until that standoff hits, and then yank it out so plug stays in there tool comes out take your little razor blade cut off this excess careful not to poke another hole and that's that it's plugged just using this sort of battery backup uh, jump box comes with an air compressor I'll have links to all this stuff down in the description those Amazon affiliate links help the channel out I get a little bit of a percentage from all those purchases price is the same for you so appreciate you using those Amazon links down there turn this on Right at 15. I run all my tires at 15 on this mower. I know some people use different pressures, but seem to have good success running them at 15. Get this put away. All right, guys, this is the tire plug kit that I use. It's O R C I S H. I'll go ahead and put a link to this down in the description. It really comes with everything you need. It actually comes with spare valve stems. Haven't ever needed one of those set of pliers. These are not the best pliers, but they'll work in a pinch to pull stuff out of your tires. Uh, a little chintzy sort of tire pressure gauge. You saw that other one that I like to use. I'll link that in the description as well. Comes with a ton of these plugs. Um, the reason I got this is because it has solid handles. These are solid metal handles, changeable uh, bits on them, I guess you'd call them. Uh, and as you saw a minute ago, sometimes you have to use some non-traditional uh, methods to get that in there using the hammer to put it in. Uh, it also comes with valve stems, a core puller tool, extra valve stem cores, uh, the caps for your valve stems, and a little bit of lube to get you started. And then tuck down in here, that little razor knife. It's that little razor knife that I use to uh, cut the excess off. So go check out the links in the description. Uh, this will be down there. I have a link to this intercom uh, pressure gauge, and uh, yeah, that's 
about it on the equipment. All right, guys. Well, it is as simple as that. Obviously, had to use uh, that hammer there to get the reamer started, but once that got in there, we were good to go. Um, hopefully, that's the only leak I have in this tire. I'm not really sure. We'll see as we go. I uh, don't really have any soapy solution on me at the moment to spray it down. Otherwise, I would spray it on down look for other leaks. Anyway, that was real time. I didn't speed any of that footage up. I didn't skip any of the steps. So you can see how quickly you can actually get this done when you have a proper tool kit. Um, so go check that out down in the description. Those Amazon affiliate links definitely help the channel. Give me a little bit of a kickback. Same price for you. So I appreciate you using those. Anyway, I'm going to go load the bad boy up and go get some grass cut. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. Leave me a comment down in the comment section. Let me know if it was helpful for you. Click that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this, more videos on grass cutting, all sorts of stuff. We're getting our home built out at the piece of property that I've been cutting. So hopefully once we get moved in there, we'll be uh, transitioning to some more uh, homesteading type videos as we start to build up our little homestead out there. So if you're interested in that, click that subscribe button. As always, I hope y'all have a good one. We'll catch you next time down here on the South Coast.